Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is, there is a problem with your game setup. Please reinstall your game. So if you are receiving this error message with EA Sports FC 24 game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. So you have to download x86. So click on this exe file and download x64. So click on this exe file. Now, once the download is com complete, run both the exe file. So click on x86 and x64 one by one. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. In my case, this is already installed. So once installed, make sure both the installation is complete. Now once both the installation are complete, you will see a restart option like this. Restart your computer and then launch the game. So, but make sure that both are installed, then only restart. Restart is a must, and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, still you are receiving the error message. In that case, repair Visual C++ file from game folder. So, go to the game installation folder. So, wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, go to C drive. If the game is installed from EA, EA app, then you can go to program files or maybe program file 686 and then find the Epic Games or EA Games. So, you can... If the game is installed in C drive, then you can go to, if you have the game from Epic Games, you can open this folder, you might find the game over here. If you have the game from EA app, you can open EA Games and then you might find the game over here. In my case, the game is installed in a different drive. Or you can simply make a right click on the game in Steam, then click on Browse Local Files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. So make a right click, manage, browse local files. Now once you are in the game installation folder, open this installer folder and then open this VC folder. Now, now open this, open all the folders one by one. So open this VC 2012 and Redist folder. Make a right click on the x64 and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then click on agree. Install. If you see install, click on install. If you see repair, click on repair. Click on yes and then again run this second exe file. Run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Agree. Install. If you install, click on install. If you see repair, click on repair. Now go back. Do the same thing with this. 2013 VC file, VC folder, Redist, make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And again, if you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install, click on install. Run as administrator. Make sure that you always run these kind of file as an administrator. Repair or install whatever you see. Now go back and then open 2015. Redist 64. Run. Yes. Again, make a right click. Run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Again, if you see install or repair, click on install or repair. If you receive any kind of error message, just ignore it. Now go back. Do the same thing. You might not receive the error message. In my case, I am receiving the error message. Now 
but I'll fix this. Now go back once done. Now restart your computer. Click on restart and after the system restart launch the game. Still you are facing the problem in that case uninstall visual C++ file. Now for this open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box. And then click on control panel. Now click on uninstall a program. Now over here scroll down. And here you can see Microsoft Visual 2010, 12, 13, 15. So you have to uninstall all of them. Uninstall, click on yes. Only the Microsoft Visual C++ file. Do not uninstall anything else. So uninstall all the files one by one, one by one. This process may take some time. Once done, uninstall, yes. Don't repair, just uninstall it. I, I repaired it by mistake. Uninstall. Close. Now I was not able to uninstall it, it's telling me to restart my computer. So you restart your computer if it's telling you to restart. Once this is done, make sure that you restart your computer after this. Restart is a must. Now after the system restart, you can again go to the first link. Link is provided in the video description. And then open this link in a browser. And then again download both x86 and x64. Click on both the exe file. And then run both the exe file. So run both the exe file that is x64. I have not restarted, so let me restart my computer first. Now, after the system restart, go to the same website and then download both x86 and x64 and then run both the exe file. Now, click on agree and then click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Run the second exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, again click on agree and then click on install. Now after the installation of both the files, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. But still you are receiving the error message. In that case, 
install media feature pack now if you're using n version of windows then you can install media feature pack now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will again take you to microsoft website and scroll down over here you can see for windows 10 n edition user go to settings and then go to apps and apps and features then click on optional features then click on add a feature now in windows 11 again in windows 10 n you have to open settings then go to apps then go to apps and features optional features then click on add a feature you have to type in media feature pack and then install it in windows 11 and n edition open windows settings and then go to apps install apps and then optional features Okay, in Windows 11, you simply have to click on apps. Click on apps and then you will see optional features option. Click on optional feature. And then instead of add a feature, in, over here you have to click on view, view features. And over here type in media feature pack. Now I have Windows 11 home. I don't have Windows 11 N edition. So if you have Windows 10 N edition or Windows 11 N edition, when you type in media feature pack, you will see media feature pack over here. Put a check on the box and then click on next and install. And after the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now still you are facing the error message. In that case, the next step is to install DirectX file. Now before you install it, go to this location. So open file explorer, go to this PC and then go to C drive and then after you go to C drive, open Windows folders, Windows, and then find System32 folder. Open System32 folder. Over here, you have to find this D3D compiler 43.dm. So find this file. Scroll down. D3D compiler. 43. Here you can see D3D compiler 43.dll. So you can create a backup of this. So before you delete this, copy this file and you can save it to the desktop. So if anything wrong happens, you can always copy this file and put it back. If something wrong happens, you can always you can always copy this from the desktop. You can copy this and put it back to the system32 folder. Now once you have the backup, I have I have the backup over here. Now I will go ahead and delete this file. Now I'll click on delete. Now once this is deleted, now copy this link. The link is provided in the view description. Open this link in a browser. It will again take you to Microsoft website. Now over here click on download and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on I accept and then click on next. Uncheck this install the Bing bar. We don't want it. Next. This may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to install. Now click on next. Next. Now click on finish. This file has this uh, D3D compiler. Now when you go to uh, this system32 here you can see it's back now you can try to launch the game and then check now still you are receiving the error message in that case repair or verify the game file now for this uh, go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files now if you have the game on uh, ea app you can go to ea app and in ea app you can click on the three dots select your game Click on the three dots and then you will see repair option. So click on repair. Now after the repair, launch the game. Still you are 
facing the error message in that case install any free games like apex legend run the game close it and then run fc24 so you can uh, go to store and you can find apex legend in steam in ea app also you will you can find it you open the ea app and and ea app you can find apex legend this is the free ea games so you can if this is already installed then you can run this game if not installed then you can install it so you can you can just add click on play now and um, it, in my case this is already added to the library so apex legend so you can install it play it for a few seconds or maybe a minute and then close the game and after you close the game then you can um, run fc24 this has worked for a few players so it might work for you next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working uh, in that case you can uh, uninstall and reinstall the game so make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall uh, go to the game installation folder delete the game folder then restart it later. and after the system restart reinstall the game and then check now if nothing is working the last step is to update your windows using media creation tool so update your windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully and you should not receive this there is a problem with your game setup error so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel